Hi guys, it's the Magical Hag. Welcome to my Have I Been Cursed reading. Now this is a reading that I didn't really offer as much just because curses and hexes and jinxes, there's a lot of negative feeling about them though they do happen and they are happening more and more and more I've noticed. I know there's a lot of people out there that kind of scare people into buying the services by offering, you know, free readings and then telling this person that they've been cursed and 10 to 1 they haven't, they're just scaring them. Um, so I'm very, very wary of anyone that's not been around um, for a long time who's offering all these free readings but not getting anything back from it. Ten to one, they might be offering something to, you know, try and scare you. So just be a bit wary and use a bit of common sense. If, however, as a lot of people who reach out to me find that they've been just going through a really bad time or they just seem to have one thing after another after another or something's not quite right, this can really clear up that energy. I do kind of too have I Been Cursed readings and this is my smaller one. Both of them have this spread in them, but my larger have, um, I use more spiritual tools. So when I say spiritual, I use coin, I use divination, I use Reiki. Um, I use egg cleanse. I use all kinds of things depending on the person and the situation. I always also go into a little more, bit more depth because it's a larger um, working and really kind of look and see where it's targeted and things like that, which you'll notice here it doesn't really say. So yeah, I use the Lightseer Tarot deck for the Have I Been Cursed readings. The reason for that is because I very much work with Santa Moretti and she is someone I've worked with for a while now. And she wanted this deck for me to do these readings. She kind of wanted to watch over me and kind of guide me a little bit when I'm doing them. So she's, you know, the spirit of death. <laughs> she's very much in tune with curses and hexes and jinx. So if there is something there, she will tell me. She's also kind of, you know, got my back a lot when I'm doing readings or, you know, darker readings, especially if there is something there because... The majority of the time it might be just be something little or it's just something that you can do yourself and get rid of or it might be something that someone's genuinely done to you and um, I do curses and I also do cleanses and unhexing so I've seen people do them and I've seen people clear them so they are out there and a lot of practitioners a lot of spiritual workers witches will tell you that it's kind of there's more and more of it out there nowadays i think just because social media we connect more that it's just so much easier to find personal information about th people and when you have that you can do a lot with that and um, you'd be surprised at what i could do with a photo <laughs> of someone and um, let's put it that way but anyway um this is the Have I Been Cursed reading and it's been blessed and dedicated to Santa Moretti. She is um, watching over me, she wanted this deck, I brought this deck specifically for this reading so certain decks that I have I only use for certain readings and this is one of them, this is the Lightseer's Tarot. So I've put the spread out, so for the Have I Been Cursed, small, <laughs> I do small and large as I said, is a seven card spread. Now the first card that we've got is the one over here. This is just the general feeling, general energy around that person. Um, it could be the main focal card, it could be the one that you really need to pay attention to. You could also, if you wanted to switch it up, turn it into the shadow card. Um, which means that this is kind of like the darker energy, something that maybe might be being worked. It's the Page of Cups, so this spread wasn't isn't for anyone. It's just one that I just turned over randomly just to kind of show you what cards are used. And um, this is telling me that yeah, there's no there's no curse here. But this is kind of the shadow aspect or the energy of that person um, at this time. Then the first three cards up here, they're all linked together. Now these read together and you look at what's happening to that person, what's going on in their lives, um, what energy has um, been sent, if any is sent, what you're picking up on an energetic level as well. So what is happening, read together and really link up these cards to kind of see, it'll give you an idea if there is a curse. This one will tell you straight up, yes or no, if there's a curse. Um, and then these two will tell you the who, what, when, why, <laughs> or just give you the, an idea of the situation or the energy of the situation that's currently going um, around that person right now. 
Then this one is the outside influence. This is kind of the person that's done it or how it's been done. Um, with practice and with experience, you'll be, have certain cards that you'll know kind of means certain things like a witch has cursed you or it's a hex someone's not liked you or it's just negative thoughts and feelings or it could be someone's been gossiping about you um here i would say with the hermit being reversed i would say that they've just been attacking them on a spiritual level um it's someone who is possibly a beginner witch a beginner in the spiritual practice and they might not have been aware that they did what they did deliberately sometimes just having a negative thought or a feeling about someone or being in a bad day and then saying something loud can really trigger something so i'd say here it'd be because it's reversed with the hermit i'd say it was an accident it wasn't meant to cause the intent that it has so that's just an example so the fifth card is what have they done or are they doing? So this kind of starts looking into what's been done. Um, this is kind of when you start using your intuition or you really need to work with the cards to figure out what it is they've said. Did they do a curse? Did they do a hex? Did they do a jinx? Did they give you a thought? Have they put you in a jar? Have they done it because maybe you stole their boyfriend? Are they just spreading gossip maliciously? Um, is it you or your own thoughts projecting? Um, did they charge a statue? Something that's come up. Um, someone um, on one of the forums I was on said that they received a gift from someone and then a lot of bad things happened. This will tell you what have they done or are they doing. And then this is kind of like the solution card. Now, I said this is just a seven card reading. For solutions sometimes, you know, this is how I do it, but I don't always stick to my own rules. <laughs> so what I mean by that is like, if I come to the how you go on or the solution, and I think that you need more cards, I will pull them. Um, so it could be a basic seven card spread and it turns into 14 or, you know, eight. So if you go along here and you're doing the reading and you're like, actually, this is giving me information, but I feel like I need a little bit more pull more cards and add it give it more layers make it your own or make it what you need to um need to do to figure out what it is that's going on when i do a larger reading um i tend to work with my spiritual tools to get certain straight up yes or no answers and i work with more than one tool because um you know if you do three and then two says yes and one said no you've kind of got a good idea that yes there is something there and then i'll do the cards and i'll pull them over and then i like to work with like the chakras and photos to kind of figure out where um it's being targeted and how so yeah this is my have i been cursed reading i hope it helps if you are interested in booking readings with me um Feel free to reach out or ask questions if you wish down below. If you do have I've been cursed readings yourself, um, put down below kind of how you do them. Um, I'm going to do more videos on this series. So I'm going to do a, ser a, not a series of video on how to, what cards represent curses. And then I'm going to use spiritual tools as well to kind of find out. So I'll do a couple more videos and hopefully you will enjoy them. But thank you for watching. Blessed be. Um, I am the Magical Hag and peace. <laughs> Bye guys.